Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at Security Shield and how to remove Security Shield from your computer. Today we're going to be doing this on a Windows 7 based computer, 64 bit operating system. However, it works the exact same on Windows Vista. On Windows XP, it's slightly different just because of the file path, but the methodology is all the same. Now, Security Shield is a rogue security client, it's a clone of Security Tool, and we've made uh, multiple videos on that. Uh, threat as well which has infected millions of people out there. Uh, Security Shield is new, it's found in uh, December here of 2010. In all of our testings of this threat so far we found that it actually had to come down via another Trojan so you were already infected with another virus before this hit so if you're on a website when all of a sudden this popped up um, when all of a sudden Security Shield popped up, it doesn't mean that website gave it to you in any way whatsoever. You could have had this for a week or two weeks or three weeks and it could have been behind the scenes collecting information on you. So, uh, or at least that program could have been. Uh, Security Shield is rather benign. Uh, yes, it stops most programs from running on your computer, but it doesn't um, actually steal any of your data. Uh, the whole purpose of this program is to try to trick users or scare users into actually making a purchase of this. They're going to show you false scan results. If you actually say yes I want to activate it's going to take you out uh, to their server where you can make a purchase for eighty dollars of this software however I would not recommend you do that because it is false and you're just giving your money to crooks and uh, worse off you'll be giving them your credit card if you enter in your information there. So we're going to head, close this down. Now if you can, uh, go ahead and open up the Task Manager. To open up the Task Manager, hold down Control, Shift, Escape on Windows 7 and Windows Vista. If it's Windows XP, it's going to be Control, Alt, Delete. Now, if it doesn't open up for you, that's quite alright. I'm going to show you another way of how to find this out. So right here is the Trace of Security tool, and you're going to notice uh, this happens to be nine numbers in length. Uh, it may be anywhere from 6 to 10 is what we've seen so far. And if I actually right click on it and go to open file location, and this is in Windows 7, Windows Vista, XP users won't be able to right click and hit open file location, but we'll show you the path to it. It's going to take you right in there. And so what you can do at this point in time is you won't be able to delete it because this is still running. Is What you can do is you can actually terminate it first, highlight it, hit end process, and once you end process, you will now be able to delete this. Now, if you are unable to bring up the task manager, if you're in Windows uh, um, XP or Windows 7, you can't bring up the task manager. That's all right. We can manually browse down to the local file location for you. And if you can or know how to boot into safe mode, I highly recommend you boot into safe mode with networking. Just to do the following. It's not needed, but it helps. So we're going to show you how to manually go down to... Um, that file location now. But before that we have to sh unhide a hidden file and folder because the app data folder is a hidden folder. So we're gonna go under control panel and just go ahead and do the search for hidden. It'll be the, one of the first ones to come up. Show hidden files and folders. Go ahead and click on that. And just right there we want to show hidden files and folders. Go ahead and hit apply. And now when we open up computer C drive. We're going to go under users. Under users, it's going to be your username. So whatever your username is, it can be um, under an admin account if you're logged in under admin normally, uh, wherever it's at. And you can also log in under another user if Security Shield isn't popping up there. You can log in on another user and then go into this user account as a back way of actually getting in there. But we don't want to confuse it too much. So I'm going to go to the app data folder now. And I'm going to put in, just copy in the uh, location below for XP users. It was under, I believe it was under local. It may be under roaming, for, and we haven't seen it there yet, but I'm sure somebody will come back and say, hey, we found it under roaming. So there it is right there. And you're going to see that, that shield right there. So if you were unable, if you're in safe mode, Security Shield is not going to be running, so you're just going to be able to delete this. Because I'm still in normal mode and I haven't terminated this via the Task Manager yet, all I can do at this point in time is just rename it. You're not going to be able to delete it uh, because it is currently running. Yes. So when I rename that, 
yeah, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and rename it to whatever you want. And if you're going to rename something, you can always uh, just simply right-click on it and hit rename, and then just rename it to whatever you want. Um, doesn't matter. Oh, perfect. So this is a fake blue screen uh, that may come up on you, and it, it's one that that uh, um, can take a lot of users by surprise. If if you end up getting a uh, blue screen, just don't really worry about it. So because I do have the uh, um, task manager enabled, I'm just going to go ahead and open it again. And I'm going to go ahead and kill off this process. Now, as I was saying, if you are in safe mode, there's no need to actually kill off this process because a security tool should not be running for you, or I should say security shield should not be running for you. Go ahead and minimize that and uh, if you're unable to actually stop the process from running you can just rename it as shown then reboot your computer turn it off turn it back on just browse down to this location again right click and delete the file and as soon as you get done deleting it you need to run a full scan on your computer just because chances are it was a trojan that installed that on your computer and if you look right here I have a, a search that's actually hijacked which is really common we're going to go ahead on over to uh, Remove Virus. I recommend uh, Spyro Doctor with Antivirus, and you can download it directly from removevirus.org, or you can just surf the web. Uh, PC Tools is the maker, and Symantec is actually the owner of PC Tools. So uh, I do recommend Spyro Doctor with Antivirus. It's one of the better clients out there, and it can remove and does remove Security Shield. And the other thing is, is if you cannot remove this virus yourself and you need some expert help, I really recommend OnlineComputerRepair.org. Now the cost is $89.99. Uh, the company is based in California. It's a small company. I really like them because they're very good at what they do. Uh, otherwise, a little cheaper option is uh, right here is T-Support. They're offering it for I think 50 bucks right now. Um, it, it, you know, just one of the other companies you, you can do but uh, that is overseas not in the US and uh, if you want higher quality I really would uh, go with online computer repair org I do think they're a better choice and that's only if you can't remove it yourself now as a uh, uh, last thing remember you have to run a virus scan I don't care what you end up using run a full scan because if you don't you're infected with something else you're just gonna get infected with this again you have to run a scan period so let's go ahead and move on and I'm gonna show you uh, another li little trick here start and under right here you may notice uh, sometimes you may see security shield or the security shield icon this is just another tip for you in case you're unable to find it and you can just start typing security shield and uh, it, it'll come up now don't click on it, just go ahead and right click all right, and select properties and under properties is what that's going to do is it's actually going to give you the file location right there so you can just take that open up computer and this works on XP2 which is nice if you have the icon there boom paste it in and you're going to go right there to that location so that's just a quick tip that you can do and having this left over that security uh, icon left over is no big deal because you've already gotten rid of the uh, the main executable. However, if you run a full scan with the Spar Doctor with antivirus, it'll take care of that too as well. Now, I already actually did run a scan, and I had to um, just to see what else was on the system. And it was another Trojan, the YLK or YLL, something like that. But let's go ahead and edit the registry for that last trace. And I'm just going to type in reg edit. Now, as uh, shown in the beginning of this video, we do not recommend anybody actually go into the registry and edit anything in the registry. It's dangerous. One little slip up and all your computer and data can be lost. So don't do it. Um, however, we're doing it just for to, to show you where to go. So, uh, H key current users, software. I'm just going to browse down to it and then it's going to be Microsoft, then Windows, and we'll have this full path on our guide too. Current version, run, or under run once. And what it'll be is it'll be that uh, nine digit long number or that number maybe six to eleven. You'll know what it was. And you'll see it over here and you'll see the file path. And just go ahead and right click and delete it. And that is it uh, for the removal of Security Shield. Now if you do not have internet access, a lot of you might be using the Internet Explorer out there too, uh, if you don't have internet access or it says uh, um, diagnostic page, page cannot be found, that might be because of a proxy setting. Uh, and we're going to have the proxy uh, removal video also included in the removevirus.org website as well as other helpful tips and, tips and the like to, to help you out. So be sure and head on over to removevirus.org just to check it out. 
and uh, the manual guide. It'll help answer any questions you have. I don't answer questions on YouTube or other social networking sites. So uh, just because we've already answered that question, most likely on removevirus.org. So just head on over there, look up the guide, look at the guide. If you have questions, ask it over there. That is it. I hope it helped, and take care.